Assalamualaikum and hi students. So, so in this video, we will cover the first LO to know the concept of a function of more than one variable. Okay, we will start the second subtopic in this chapter, which is limits and continuity with limits. Okay, first we have definition 1.5, the definition of the limit. What is the limit? The limit of f, x, y, a two variable function when x, y approaches point a b is equal to a okay so written as limit x y approaches a b for f x y is equal to a if and only if for any chosen positive number epsilon however there exists a positive number del such that okay you have modulus of f x y minus a is less than epsilon whenever 0 is less than square root of x minus a square plus y minus b square and less than del. Okay, so this is just the theory, the definition for limits. Now, we look at the theorem 1.1 for properties of limits of two variable function. Okay, we assume we have these two limit. Limit for fxy when xy approaches a, b is equal to a and limit for g x y the second function g when x y approaches to a b equal to b capital b okay so if the function of f x y is a constant equal to c for example you have f x y equal to 100 so the cons the limit for this f x y when x y approaches to any value a b is equal to the constant Okay, 100. Okay. Second properties, we have constant multiple rule. If you have limit, multiply limit of f, x, y, multiply by constant c, equal to c multiply by a. Okay, you just multiply the c with a. Okay, then we have sum and difference rule. So, you have plus minus, plus minus of these two limit, you get a plus minus b. Okay. Next, you have product rule. For product rule, if you multiply, I mean, if you have the product rule of fxy with gxy, so the answer will be a multiplied by b. And then, if you have quotient rule, fxy divided by gxy, so you have a divided by b. b must not equal to zero. So, you don't, you cannot have a denominator equal to zero. Okay, and the last one you have power rule. Okay, if you have a square root of n f x y. Okay, so the whole things will be a square. I mean, power root of n. Okay, so you have n a to the power root of n, and if it is defined okay, about the existence of the limit. So the limit f x y when x y approaches a b can be defined as as is it is as is if and only if the limits along every direction as x y approaches a b are equivalent thus to show that limit f x y does not exist in a b the function needs to be shown to be shown having different limits along different directions when x y approaches a b so to prove these two statements we will look at example two after this but first let's let us look at the first example here we have to verify the following limits computations okay so a you have to find the limits for 2x square plus 3y square over 5xy plus 4y when xy approaches to 2 3 x approaches to 2 and y approaches to 3 so to solve for this for a Okay, so you have limit x, y approaches 2, 3, and then 2x square plus 3y square over 5xy plus 4y. So this is equal to, you just, sub, you just what you need to do is just substitute your value of x and y. So 2 multiply by 2 square plus 3 multiply by 3 square divided by 5 2 multiplied by 3 plus 4 multiplied by 2 
and then the answer is 5 over 7 that's it okay to find the limit it's simple and then for b find the limit when x y approaches to 0 0 for x square minus y square over x plus y okay for this one if you just substitute the value of x and y you have 0 square minus 0 square over 0 plus 0 and this will be equal to 0 over 0 but look at the denominator the denominator here is equal to 0 so what does it mean so this is undefined since the denominator is equal to 0 so if you encounter this problem this kind of limit what you need to do instead of substituting the value of x and y is to factorize your function so if you factorize this numerator you have x minus y multiplied by x plus y and it can be written as this okay so from here you can cancel out this two term so we just left with limit x y approaches 0 0 x minus y now you can substitute the value of x and y so 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 okay so the limit for b is equal to 0 so from here you have this factorization okay it is okay to get the limits equal to 0 just you cannot have the zero at the denominator this is totally wrong okay but if you cut the limit equal to zero it is okay in example two you need to show that the following limits does do not exist so refer to this one to show that it does not exist means you need to show that the function has different limits along two different directions Okay, so this is what we, we try to show example 2a okay for limit x y approaches to 0 x square plus y square over x square minus y square okay to show that the limit do not exist so you need to consider two direction the limits from two direction okay first let us consider the limit from y direction so when x equal to 0 y approaches 0 okay x equal to 0 so you you must substitute the x equal to 0 so limit x y 0 0 this limit x square plus y square over x square minus y square becomes limit x y approaches to 0 0 this is 0 square plus y square so you left with y square over 0 minus y square you have minus y square so from here you have limit x y approaches to 0 0 and then you cancel these two so you have minus 1 okay cancel these two you have minus 1 okay so for limit x y approaches to 0 0 you have minus 1 minus 1 is constant so this is equal to minus 1 okay refer to the properties when you have constant f x y is constant so your the limit is constant minus one so this is from the first direction next move to the second direction when y equal to zero so x approaches zero okay for this one limit x y approaches zero zero x square plus y square over x square minus y square becomes limit 
x, y, 0, 0. Substitute y equal to 0. So you have x square over x square. So this is limit x, y approaches 0, 0. x square divided by x square is 1. So limit for function 1. So the answer is 1. Okay. So look at these two direction. Limits from these two direction. One you have minus 1. Another one you have 1. So what we can conclude here is that the limit does not exist since the limit from two different direction are not the same. Okay? So next, move to B. Limit x, y when x, y approaches to 0, 0. Sorry. Limit x, y when what? Limit x, y over x square minus y square when x, y approaches to 0, 0. So show that the limit does not exist. So for B, for B here, the same things. We need to do the same things. So first consider x equal to 0 for y direction. Okay, for y direction. When x equal to 0. So limit x, y approaches 0, 0 for function x, y, x square minus y square will be limit x, y approaches 0, 0. When x equal to 0 multiplied by 1, it becomes 0. Okay, and then when uh, x equal to 0 minus y square, you have minus y square. Okay, any number, I mean 0, 0 divided by any number, 0 divided by 1, 0 divided by 3, it will be equal to 0. So limit x, y, 0, 0 is 0. Okay, so this is equal to 0. So limit for 0, 0 is constant, is equal to 0. Okay. Next, when y equal to 0 from x direction. Okay. So this limit x, y approaches to 0, 0. x, y over x square minus y square is equal to limit x, y approaches 0, 0. Again, you have 0 multiplied by 1. Zero, sorry, x multiplied by 0, so you have 0 over x square. Okay, so, so you have limit x, y equal to 0, 0, 0 again. So this is 0. 0 divided by any number is 0. So the limit is equal to 0. Now, you see the, the limit from two directions from direct y direction and x direction is equal to 0. But the question asks you to show that the limit do not exist. So what you need to do is to check with the third direction. Pick any value for y or x. For example, for this one, I would like to take y equal to 2x. I want to consider y equal to 2x. So this is as well from x direction. Okay, so the limit x, y, 0, 0, x, y over x square minus y square from this direction when we substitute y equal to 2x becomes limit x, y, 0, 0, substitute y with 2x give you 2x square. 
Again, this one you have 2x x square minus 2x square. So you have minus 4x square here. So you have minus 3x square. You see? Okay, so this one you have 2x square, you have 3 minus 3x three x square, x square. So this is limit xy approach is 0, 0 minus 2 over 3. Okay, now this limit is equal to, since this is constant, so this limit is equal to minus 2 over 3. You see, the first direction is 0. The, sec the second direction is 0 as well. But when you try to look at the third direction, different direction, if it is still 0, so the limit does exist. But now, from the third direction, you have the, li the different limit. So, the conclusion we can make, we can make is the limit doesn't exist. Okay? Okay, continue with the second part of this video. Okay, we have continuity. So, the definition for continuity is given by definition 1.6 here. A function is defined to be continuous at point A, B if the following three conditions hold. So, it must hold these three conditions. It must satisfy these three conditions. Then, you can conclude that the function is continuous. So, the three conditions are first, F, A, B is defined. So, whenever you substitute the value for A, B into the function F, X, Y, it is must be defined. Second condition, the limit must exist. Okay, and the third one, the first and second value must be the same. Theorem 1.2 give the properties of continuous function. Okay, we assume that fxy and gxy, these two functions, are continuous. The following rules are also continuous. So if f and g are continuous, so these sum and difference product constant multiples power and quotient rules are also continuous okay so fxy plus gxy is continuous you you multiply f with g it will be continuous you multiply k with f or g so it is continuous and then you have power rule and quotient rule all these are also continuous. So we have two examples here for continuity. The first one is, is to show that fxy equal to 3x plus y square is continuous at point 0, 0. So we have three conditions that need to be satisfied, that need to be hold. So that then we can continue we can we can conclude that these functions is continuous at point zero zero so the first one is to make sure f zero zero when you substitute zero zero into f x y is defined so substitute x equal to zero and y equal to zero this is equal to zero zero value is defined this is defined so first we have checked the first condition the second condition we need to check is to make sure the limit for x, y approaches point zero zero, a, b is zero zero, is exists. Okay, so three x plus y square. So this one to find the limit for this one, just substitute. Okay, x and y. So this again we have zero. So, the limit does exist, okay, for this function. And the last one, you need to make sure that F00 is equal to limit XY approaches to 0, 0 for 3X plus Y square is equal. So, does it equal? So, we have F00 equal to 0 and then we have limit 
equal to 0. So we can conclude that f x y is continuous at point 0, 0. Last but not least, we have second example to show that this function is not continuous at the origin. What does it mean by origin? Origin means point zero, zero. Okay, so your a, b is equal to zero, zero. So for this one, consider the first condition. First condition is to find f zero, zero. So f x y when x y equal to zero is equal to zero. So f zero zero is equal to zero here. Okay. Next, for the second condition, we need to prove that limit x y approaches to zero zero for this f x y exists. So, how can we show that this limit exists? We just show that in our previous example here. We try to find limit for x, y, x square minus y square. Okay, when x, uh, y approaches to 0. And the limit does not exist. Okay, let's conclude here the limit does not exist from previous example. So, in this second condition we fail to prove fit okay so this is not I mean for the first one it is defined but for the second one it is not as is the limit for fxy does not exist so fxy here is not continuous you can conclude this at origin since the limit does not exist okay this is how we we want to show that the limit uh, sorry the the function is not continuous okay so that's all for today's video so we will continue with partial derivative and total differential in the next video. Thank you.